In the three years of the apocalypse, as a supporting actress, when Jean struggled to survive, while her college friend rose to fame due to her small wooden carving, saving people, donating, and doing good deeds, but her reputation fell entirely on her. Live a lifetime, when Jean doesn't want to make wedding clothes for others anymore, she only lives for herself. Storing supplies, keeping pets, earthquakes, scorching heat, high temperatures, strong light, sandstorms others live in dire straits, while when Jean hides in an air-conditioned room eating, drinking, and masturbating cats. The female lead. Unscrupulous foster parents. When Jean all hid far away. In this lifetime, when Jin's goal is only one. To live her own little life well. The original female lead should not have many scenes keywords of the novel. Extreme hoarding of materials. At the beginning, I tear apart the Virgin Mary without a pop-dot-up window. Extreme hoarding of materials. At the beginning, I tear apart the Virgin Mary. Download the complete TXT collection. Extreme hoarding of materials. At the beginning, I tear apart the Virgin Mary. Read the latest chapter. Chapter 1. Rebirth. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Rebirth When Jean was awakened by the sound of knocking on the door, and the noisy sound made when Jean, who was in a nightmare, have a splitting headache. After suddenly opening her eyes, she felt the warm sunshine and looked at the pink room in front of her. When Jean was stunned for a few minutes, feeling really unbelievable. I am reborn. The picture from the dream is still playing in a loop in my mind. I am a tool woman supporting a novel, and the protagonist of the novel is my classmate Su Chingru. She activated the Virgin Mary system a week before the end of the world, and as long as she helps others, she can gain faith points and change her appearance and figure. Thinking about how all the people she had helped in her past life would later be grateful to Su Chingru, and how she ended up in a notorious situation, when Jean felt nauseous and angry. The shouting outside the door became quieter and quieter, and in the end, they cursed some unpleasant words before calming down. Wen's family the joy and excitement of rebirth slowly faded from her eyes. Thinking of all the things they had done in their past lives, when Jean was even more unwilling to let them go. By the end of the world, she would definitely make them look good. There is still one month until the earthquake arrives, and this time is neither long nor short. What I need to do now is, ding. The piercing bell interrupted her thinking, and as she looked at the contact person on her phone, when Jin's eyes became colder and colder, Xiao Jin, we don't want to take your shares for free. Ten million yuan, how about it? My parents really don't have any money now. Besides, you're in our household registration book. Isn't ours yours? So, it's almost August 15th. How about we reunite well? Ten million yuan, thanks to their imagination, the 43% equity in their hands would be worth at least 40 to 50 million yuan in the market. Besides, they don't have any money. The big villa they are currently living in is much more valuable than the small apartment building they have squeezed three people into. Let me think about it again, parents. There have been many things going on in the company lately, so I need to take care of them first. Try to imitate the tone of your past life and deceive the parents of the one family. Hey. Okay. As expected, within three minutes, the phone displayed an extra 10 million yuan on the bank card, along with information about Wen's father and mother. Xiao Jin, these 10 million yuan will be given to you by your parents first, so you can use it as pocket money. When the company's affairs are settled, remember to inform us as soon as possible. When Jean snorted coldly and immediately dialed the phone number to her home. She was not prepared to sell her hard work so cheaply. In the end, the equity in my hands was exchanged for 43 million yuan, and half of it was allocated to the stock market. After investing in a few stocks from my memory, I stuffed all my belongings into the space. This time, when Jean won't come back. Let's just assume that the one family spent 10 million to buy an apartment. The news of the shares being sold out will soon spread. 
before the one family comes to trouble themselves, it is better to go abroad for a while and stock up on some materials that cannot be bought domestically. After more than ten hours on the plane, when Jean planned all her routes and began booking warehouses in various cities. She placed orders for everything she could buy online and tried to go to the warehouse to collect supplies, saving time. Suddenly, when Jean remembered that she had not taken a good look at the space since her rebirth. In her previous life, Su Qingru had snatched away the space before realizing it. Later, she learned from someone else that the small wooden carving on her body could actually store things. Just now, it seems that I instinctively put things in directly. After lightly making a cut on the hand, he dripped the blood from his hand onto the wooden carving. This is something when Jean came up with by herself. In the novels, the protagonists are all determined by blood, so maybe she can do it herself, so she doesn't have to worry about being taken away again. In fact, the next second when Jin's consciousness appeared on a green field. She was standing in front of a small wooden house, next to a small piece of black land. A small river flowed along a nearby slope into a distant cloud and mist. Welcome back, the 300th generation descendant of the Wen family. This small wooden carving was brought with Wen Jin when she was brought into the orphanage, probably because it was just a wooden carving, and the Wen family's parents didn't take it away because they didn't really like it. Did my own family also have the surname Wen? After entering the wooden house, the books that were originally placed on the table turned into a white light and flashed into Wen Jin's mind. Originally, this small wooden carving was predicted by the ancestors of the Wen family to be a disaster in billions of years, and was refined after several generations of cultivation, only to protect the descendants of the Wen family. However, as time passed, the spiritual power of this treasure also passed, and it needed to devour items with spiritual power to upgrade. After withdrawing consciousness from the space, there were bursts of heat on the wrist. Looking down, the wooden carving on the neck had disappeared, replaced by a pink dot on the wrist. Attempting to bring the other wrist with a jade bracelet closer to the dot, the frequency of the heat continued to increase. Sure enough, you guessed it right. Bringing the jade bracelet closer to the small pink spot, it was sucked directly into the space. After a while, a green leaf appeared next to the point on the wrist. The third generation descendant of the Wen family repaired the treasure to level 2 and opened the still life space, which was in a stationary state. With the quiet living space, Wen Jin became even more reckless, even ordering a lot of food and snacks directly from abroad. Arriving at the first stop in the oil-rich country S in the afternoon, the pre-booked truck had already parked at the entrance of the airport. The next day, Gas stations in several small cities in S country were swept away by Wen Jin, and when she was idle, she placed many orders for petroleum, gasoline, and diesel on the dark web. Most of these things were shipped from S country, so the warehouse that Wen Jin ordered in S country the next day was already full. Just one type of oil had already filled the still life space, and she was a bit shy. Fortunately, the money invested in the stock market has doubled several times. After withdrawing some of the money, Wen Jin turned her attention to the famous Jade City on the border between S and P countries. Following the navigation, we arrived at a woolen market. As soon as we entered, there were a sea of people, not to mention how lively it was. Some people stood next to the small stall, looking excited, while others looked worried. Starting from the outermost side and moving inward, the price gradually rises. It seems that here we are all buying raw stones made of raw materials. Fortunately, when Jean has space as a cheating tool, and even at cheap stalls, we have bought many high dot quality stones. At the same time, she found some stones with poor spiritual energy but good appearance to open and sell on site, earning a small profit of one million just by doing so. However, when Jean also knew not to be too conspicuous. After buying two good stones, she picked out some with poor appearance and pretended to be disappointed when she opened them. You little girl, you're not satisfied yet. Many Chinese people nearby shook their heads when they saw that Wen Jin was young and well-behaved. Many people advised Wen Jin. 
Little girl, this gambling stone is purely a matter of luck. Don't worry too much about it, it's not bad to have such luck today. Don't be too greedy to buy more. Suddenly, her wrist began to heat up, and when Jean followed the direction of the space to the innermost small stall. The vendor lay leisurely on the lounge chair, because the price was expensive and there were not many people around. Just as my finger was about to reach onto the stone, it was suddenly taken away. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Bye 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 bye. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Number 2 Bye bye bye. Boss, how much does this stone cost approximately? The voice is soft and too familiar. Upon hearing the sound, when Jin's pupils suddenly shrank, and she looked up in surprise at the person in front of her. How could Su Qingru be here? At this point in time, shouldn't she be working? Three million. Good guy, Wen Jin felt a bit hesitant when she heard this price. Three million yuan, how many items can she buy? The old man's voice was a bit hoarse. He opened his eyes and glanced at Su Qin Gru, then at Wen Jin standing next to him, and then closed his eyes. After hearing the price, Su Qing Ro's face looked a bit ugly. She has been putting in a lot of effort to complete several tasks recently and only earned 10,000 yuan. This money is for buying supplies to deal with natural disasters. How can we upgrade this system? As if hearing Su Qingro's inner voice, the system released a punitive current and said, please complete the task as soon as possible. The emotionless mechanical sound made Su Qingru feel angry, but the tingling sensation on her body made her dare and not speak up. Xiao Jin, why are you here too? Just now, when I saw your back, it looked like you. Her delicate voice and gentle smile made people feel that she and Wen Jin seemed to be very familiar, but in fact, this person's smile did not reach the bottom of their eyes. She turned her gaze to Wen Jin beside her. Why did this person start a company and succeed in their first year of college? It must be thanks to her family. Since she has money, she wouldn't care about this five million, would she? Seeing that when Jean remained silent, Su Qin Gru bit her lips and smiled slightly. Xiao Jean, could you help me pay for it first? I haven't brought enough with me when I go out, so I'll pay you back immediately when I return to my home country. When Jean casually swiped her bank card on the pose machine at the boss's stall, and Su Qin Gru beside her spoke with excitement in her voice, thank you. Xiao Jin. But as she spoke, there was an indescribable jealousy in her eyes. Boss, I'll take this piece. For a moment, Su Qin Gru, who had been brushed off her face, had a face that was both white and red, with extremely rich colors. She looked at the pedestrians around her who didn't have their eyes on her, and reached out to grab Wen Jin's hem. Xiao Jin, how could you do this? Didn't I tell you, I'll pay you back when I return home. Besides, it's useless for you to have a stone. If you return to your home country, will you have the money to pay back? Besides, if you had seen me earlier, you would still have snatched my stone. When Jean was too lazy to continue pretending with her, and these words didn't save face for Su Qingru at all. She turned a blind eye to Su Qingru's ugly expression. A month requires preparing too many supplies, and she doesn't have time to waste any more time with Su Qingru. This time I am reborn, no matter what the female lead or system is, as long as I stay far away, no one will want to harm me again. After getting on the truck, I threw some jade stones into the pink dots, and my consciousness was forced to retreat the next second. While waiting for the upgrade, Wen Jin returned the truck and then boarded a plane to M Country. The purpose of this time is for technology products such as generators. M country is vast and sparsely populated, with many warehouses and cheap prices. Wen Jin immediately ordered around 20, which can also reduce the pressure of her trips. Generators, which are expensive and not usually useful, are hardly bought by anyone, and warehouses in major shopping malls are full. In addition, with the ability to place orders online, when Jean had already finished buying on the plane. 
Now, all she needs to do is go to the warehouse to collect the goods. There is sun and water in the space, and solar and hydroelectric generators are indispensable. Diesel is also abundant, so I have bought a lot of diesel generators. As for wind turbines, be prepared. When Jean bought dozens or twenty of these generators each, as well as a lot of batteries and solar panels, but these are not the most important things on this trip to M country. This time, when Jean is going to modify all her cars in a professional store. After using mental energy to explore the camera and people, take out the car in the space and put it into the warehouse. Call the car repair shop that has already been scheduled to come and drive, and make an agreement to come and pick it up in half a month. In theory, such a large quantity cannot be completed in half a month, but I can't resist when Jean giving me more money. By the way, I also bought many high-temperature resistant and anti-slip wheels from various auto repair shops. After wandering in M country for a day, I gained a lot. If it weren't for another upgrade in space, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to eat these materials at all. The prosperity in the stock market has also been as expected by one gene, and now it has doubled several times, surpassing one billion. With cash, there is no need to be timid anymore. Other countries like Wenjin have made their own products like the law, and after purchasing local specialties, they have also found many good goods, such as winter jackets, constant temperature suits, stab-proof suits, bulletproof suits, submarines, and even yachts, submarines, RVs, and other spaces. As for drugs. There is no limit to the quantity of drugs abroad, and only a few pharmacies are emptied in a country. Even many medical devices and various vaccine herbs are ordered online. This series of actions were all done anonymously online by Wen Jin, and she never even met in person during this period. After completing the prescribed route, almost all the jade and stones received by S country have been used up, and the treasures have reached level 10, and the pattern is gradually emerging. Except for the two leaves that are still living spaces, the pink dots seem to be the center of the flower. Two petals have grown around the center, one of which is warm-temperate and the other is tropical, both of which can be planted. As for the scattered light pink petals growing outside, these petals are still life spaces, but the area of the space is much larger than those two. Nowadays, when Jean can still retrieve goods from the warehouse by driving a car. Even when driving on the road, the warehouse can be cleaned up immediately. At the same time, mental strength has also improved significantly, coverage has increased, things that can be perceived are more subtle, and even the camera can be briefly blocked. Half a month before the natural disaster, when Jean finally boarded the plane back to her home country. For the past half month, when Jean dared not even stay in hotels abroad, and finally touched the soft bed. When Jean slept hard for a day and a night. When I woke up, it happened to be the afternoon. After a simple wash, I started collecting daily necessities and food. There are quite a few rural areas in this small city, and when Jean went around and compared goods. Eventually, she collected some vegetables and fruits, as well as a pair of adult cows, a pair of calves, three pairs of chickens, a pair of ducks, two pairs of piglets and a pair of big white geese, a pair of rabbits, a pair of sheep, and finally collected quail eggs that could hatch. Anyway, there are many incubators in the Wenjin space. In addition, a lot of things like goose eggs and duck eggs have also been collected. In short, I gained a lot from this trip. I wandered to the largest coal market, sweeping away all the coal in the major coal markets, and then booked another coal for the next two days. After wholesaling coal, when Jean bought many charcoal stoves and igniters, along with some kerosene lamps and horse lamps. The next stop is a large wholesale market, where everything is mixed and cheap, making it very suitable for foolish girls like Wen Jean who have no time but money. I bought all the seeds, seedlings, chicken, duck, fish, meat, and various seasonings, rice, noodles, and warm hibiscus all at once. Unfortunately, the boss here doesn't have enough inventory, and it will take at least a few days to restock. After when Jean finished buying the spot goods, she moved on to the next city. Compared to foreign countries, 
buying things domestically is much safer, and when Jean is not as tightly packed as she is abroad. She drives a truck to the warehouse every day to take a stroll, and then finds a place without surveillance to receive space, in recent days, when Jean has almost changed cities every day, but the first thing she goes to when she arrives in a city is the wholesale market. There is no need to mention the amount of rice, flour, grains, and oil stored in the space, such as insect repellent, wind oil essence, sanitary napkins, etc., which can be used for several lifetimes without problem. The time for collecting materials passed quickly, and there were also many jade stones accumulated in the space. When returning to China, when Jean specifically went to that jade city to wholesale many high-dot-quality jade stones. Less than ten days before the natural disaster, when Jin's newly purchased house in the capital has also been renovated. It was purchased and started renovating before going abroad. The largest official base in her past life was in the capital. When Jean once visited, and in the ruins, only the newly built community stood tall, reportedly inhabited by high-dot-ranking officials and technical personnel from the base. When Jin's room is tightly wrapped with the best materials for waterproofing, etc. All the glass in the house has not been installed, but a thick sliding metal plate window has been installed on the outer layer after reserving space for the glass. Even the two balconies have been heavily protected. A curved one-person high railing is installed on the outermost layer, and a sliding rail-style door is installed inside the railing. The design of this door adopts the design of a cold storage door, which is even more impressive. Even if it is locked open, it is difficult for an adult man to open it. Inside the door, at the junction of the balcony in the living room, another door is installed, but this door is relatively fragile. However, on the side of this door next to the balcony, when Jean plans to install the power grid herself later. At this moment, the house was empty, and when Jean climbed up and down to install air conditioning and other electrical appliances. In the last few days, when Jean began ordering meals at various restaurants and dessert shops, ordering hundreds of servings at a time. When asked, she said it was a reward for her employees. At the end of the wave, when Jean had only the last few million left in her hands, and almost all the money in the stock market had been obtained. Part of this money is exchanged for gold bars, while another part is kept in hand for future needs. Until all the planned work was completed, it was already the last day before the end of the world. Watching the night fall and the light still shining outside, when Jean felt a little emotional. But at this final moment, I still have to go out. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 No 3 Earthquake you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Number 3 Earthquake The first disaster of a natural disaster is an earthquake, which is a major global earthquake. At least the city where Wen Jin lived in the previous generation had a magnitude of 10. At that time, almost no buildings in H city were spared and all collapsed. In the first five hours of an earthquake, there will be a major power outage, but unfortunately, the earthquake occurred after 6 o'clock in the morning, and the power outage began at 1 o'clock. At this time, most people are asleep, and even if the country discovers it, they do not think about earthquakes. But this happened to be a bargain for Wen Jin, who took advantage of the power outage and drove around the empty street looking for a target. This time, Wen Jin's goal is cosmetics and tobacco and alcohol, which are not necessary for humans. Almost half of them were damaged in earthquakes. Instead of wasting them like this, it would be better to directly collect them. Over the course of five hours, when Jean wandered through supermarkets of all sizes in the city, throwing door locks and other items into the space, without even letting go of small pharmacies or pet shops on the roadside. But when Jean still has a conscience, just put away some fragile things. Suddenly, a strange spirit invaded and instinctively surrounded it with its own spirit, devouring it. The flower center is gradually heating up. So, is it an upgrade? Recalling the disappearance of that unfamiliar spiritual power, when Jin's heart became somewhat alert. Does anyone have space like herself? Or is this the female leads? At this moment, 
Su Qin Gru from 1905 had just used her spiritual exploration ability obtained from the system, and felt a sharp pain in her mind. She didn't even see the scene on Wen Jin's side clearly before fainting. The silent system stared at Su Qin Gru lying on the ground and coldly uttered a useless sentence. Wen Jin didn't return to the apartment until 5 o'clock. Since the earthquake had no impact on this building, it would be better to stay at home with peace of mind and avoid the risk of stepping on it outside. Today was very unusual, until 6.39 p.m. when the sun only rose up. However, in less than a minute, the fiery red sun rose into mid-air, reflecting the entire sky in blood red. Then, the blood red slowly darkened, and the world fell into darkness. Feeling a slight vibration on the ground, when Jean quickly pulled the sliding window and locked it. Within an hour of returning home, when Jean put away all the furniture in the house, placed a layer of cushion on the ground, and then laid two layers of blankets. She wrapped herself tightly with a helmet and knee pads. An earthquake has arrived. Even though he was already prepared, he was still startled by the huge vibration. The duration of the earthquake was actually not long, and even this earthquake only lasted for ten minutes. Lying on the soft blanket, Wen Jin was indeed unharmed, but the intense vibration and loud noise made her feel dizzy and dizzy, leaving only a buzzing noise in her ears. The discomfort in her stomach made her feel like she was about to die. In pain, Wen Jin began to feel dizzy. In the past few days of her rebirth, she had hardly rested properly, especially in the days after settling down. Apart from hoarding supplies, she had to attend three to four hours of shooting classes every day, which compressed her already limited rest time to the shortest possible. The first disaster that has been weighing on her heart has finally come to an end, and when Jin's psychological pressure seems to have disappeared all of a sudden, falling asleep unprepared. In the end, when Jin was awakened by the sound of knocking on the door. Hello, I am from the community. The magnitude of this earthquake is very large and there may be aftershocks. Survivors' resettlement sites have been set up in the community's garden. After speaking, the person had already left and should have gone to notify the next one. After closing the door, when Jean walked to the window and opened a small gap in the curtains to observe the situation below. There are indeed many tents installed in the small garden of the community, but when Jean is not prepared to go back and live a collective life. One reason is that my secrets are too big, and if someone accidentally leaks them out, I may not die easily. Another reason is that I have a lot of resources in my hands, so it's better to live a safe and good life here than to suffer. After making this decision, I took out a small bed and computer from the space. At this time, due to the earthquake, the electrical wires were destroyed, and the air conditioning at home was completely unusable. I had to take out a large bucket of ice and put it in the corner of the room. Suddenly, there seemed to be a slight tapping sound on the door outside the balcony. After opening the first floor door, the sound became even more pronounced. At this moment, when Jean regretted not opening a cat's eye on this thick metal door. But this is the twenty-first floor, let alone just after the earthquake although I thought so, I still took out the strongest electric shock rod in the space and held it tightly in my hand, slowly pulling the door open. But I don't want to be completely blank outside, there seems to be nothing else besides the dazzling sunlight. Meow, a faint cry came from my feet, and when I looked down, I realized it was a silver-gray kitten. That must not have climbed up from downstairs, perhaps it was the cat upstairs or the neighbor who was shaken out by the earthquake. Looking at this little guy who only breathed out but didn't breathe in, when Jean couldn't bear it anymore. She first used space to preliminarily remove bacteria and parasites into a basin, burn them to death, and then took out gloves and a crib from the space. She placed the little guy on the crib and fed him some sheep milk powder. She also placed ice cubes around the small balcony to cool down. After closing the sliding door, when Jean glanced at the kitten lying on the small bed again. She had already done everything she could, and the rest depended on its nature. That bath just now was considered a waste. Looking at her cat fur all over her body, 
when Jean wanted to cry without tears, but fortunately there was a small river in the space that she didn't have to worry about water. The remaining few days were very nourishing for Wen Jean, and the little guy outside the balcony was brought into the house by Wen Jean on the fifth day. Just because the weather outside is getting hotter and hotter, the leaves in the garden have been attracted by the sunlight many times in these days. The construction of summer shelters has already begun in the garden. Unfortunately, there were too few participants, and two or three sparse people stood under the sun, running into the tent in a few minutes. Observing below, the door suddenly banged. Open the door. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Number 4 meets the female lead again. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 5 The No 5 Conspiracy. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Conspiracy Number 5 The people in the tent were eager to go out and join the fun, but slowly, the sound outside gradually got closer and louder, sounding more than just lively. Sitting at the door, when Jean could just see many residents pointing and cursing at him behind the staff pushing dinner. After waiting for someone to come in, slowly opened the box after box of self-heating hot pot on the small cart. It has been almost a week since the disaster, and I believe everyone has a better understanding of the situation outside. Except for our community, all residential areas in the entire capital have been spared. The preciousness of supplies is evident, and instructions have been issued that starting from tomorrow, supplies will no longer be distributed free of charge. Only by completing tasks can everyone obtain food. As the words fell, the crowd in the tent who had just been smiling because of having an extra dinner tonight suddenly closed their mouths. Why? We used to pay so much tax every day just to let you continue to exploit us in times of disaster. That's right. I just learned a while ago that people in other neighborhoods live and eat delicious food every day. How come you still have to go out and work to earn food here? And the food you've given these past few days is just a little bit. What's the point? It's so unscrupulous. When the earthquake passes, I will post you online. However, the staff only gave the two people a cold glance, the words have been conveyed. Tomorrow, we will no longer distribute food uniformly. The specific work and remuneration have been posted on the notice board in the square. After speaking, the person pushed the small car behind them and walked away. The people in the tent are full of resentment, and when Jean doesn't pay attention to it. As for how to get paid, when Jean doesn't pay much attention. The food in her space is enough for her to eat for several or even more lifetimes. In addition, she can also grow her own food in the space, so she naturally doesn't care about this small reward. But when Jean is still preparing to participate, one is to take this opportunity to get to know the outside world, and the other is that when Jean needs to explore whether the so dot called national troops sent by the country are true or false. At least from now on, when Jean doesn't think it's true, in my past life, I ate free food issued by the country for two weeks in that remote fifth-tier city. The capital is not inferior to that, is it? With this thought in mind, he stood up from the ground and prepared to go to the small square to see the specific tasks. Standing up with Wen Jin was a family of three across from her. To be honest, the treatment is quite good. Just building a summer shelter can earn you three breads or a self-heating hot pot in a day. Such compensation will never make people starve to death. But people who have not experienced natural disasters would not think so, standing in front of the taskbar one by one cursing their evil intentions, but most sober people still reluctantly sign up. In the end, when Jean chose to sign up for the task of searching for supplies outside. The reward for this task is relatively lower, with only one bread per day, but the collected supplies and the base share are two to eight. Coming out of the registration office, I happened to meet Su Chingru again, who was snuggling up next to the man just now, unsure of what he was saying. As I passed by the two of them, I felt a burning gaze falling on me. When Jean inexplicably felt a chill on her body and quickly left the square, 
afraid that those two people would suddenly come to her. After leaving the square, I wandered around the community and really discovered strange places. There are far more guards at the entrance of the building than at the gathering place for survivors. In the context of just announcing the cancellation of free food distribution, which angered the public, the authorities did not prevent the public from gathering and causing trouble, but instead guarded this empty residential building for what? The closer you get to the residential building, the fewer disaster victims there are. Suddenly, the two people in front are arguing and talking about something. Hey, Biao Zi. Can we start taking action now? Those guys in the building are really infuriating me. They've been bombarding me all day and still don't leave, just clinging inside. The speaker was a man wearing a red-sleeved badge, and the man known as Biao Zi hit the man next to him with his elbow. No way, what time is it? It was just seven o'clock. What if anyone had nothing to do and wandered around? When Jean, who was wandering around, quietly hid behind the wall. Taking advantage of the space, when Jean followed two guards and walked to the bottom of a residential building. I can't stand it anymore. What are you saying about cleaning up residential buildings above? If you're afraid they'll be injured by aftershocks, why do you say, violators, dot? Before he could finish speaking, he was beaten by Biao Zi again, and then he whispered in the man's ear. Don't miss my brother Chen's big plan. I heard that it's because he heard rumors from above. It seems that the recent disasters are not just earthquakes, but there may be others who will suffer in the future. This community will be transformed into a survivor's base in the future, and it seems that Brother Chen is not planning to hand over this place to the country. He has people and weapons in his hands, so why bother? I'm going, this courage is too great. Isn't this indirectly equivalent to rebellion? You kid, I came with you because I saw your reliability. Don't delay big things. Sure enough. This so dot called official must have a problem. However, according to what those two people said earlier, the country has not yet received any news of the subsequent natural disaster, while the so dot called Chen brother has received the news. You should know, how could a decision be made without reliable information to seize the location of the base under the hands of the authorities? Su Qin grew. The night was heavy, and the two men leaned against the walls of the residential building on chairs without bones. Wen Jin, on the other hand, huddled in the nearby grass and had not entered much space in the past few days, so she had accumulated for a long time. With the men leaning against the wall dozing off, Wen Jin hardly had to enter the space and only needed to use her mental power to explore the surroundings. In the middle of the night, the two of them had some movement and tiptoed into the residential building to lock the door. I don't know if it was intentional or something, but there isn't a guard around this building. Controlling her psychic power to monitor their movements, Wen Jin stood up from the grass only when they reached the third floor. Fortunately, after the earthquake, the power lines were damaged and all the smart door locks in the residential buildings were ineffective. After throwing the iron locks in the space, I gently lifted my foot and walked into the building. At this moment, those two people had already stopped their steps. In order to obtain evidence, Wen Jin could only accelerate her steps and find the floor where the two were located to open her phone. As soon as she went up, she heard the man's whimpering and the loud sound of his fist hitting her flesh. Looking closer, Wen Jin was startled in her heart. It's him. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 No 6 Tracking you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Number 6 Tracking in the Third Year of the Apocalypse Dirty Wen Jin handed Su Qin Gru the bread she had just snatched from the crowd at the supermarket, Qin Gru, you can just make do with it. There isn't much food left. The clean girl standing next to Wen Jin picked up the bread, her eyes full of disdain and disgust, all blaming Wen Jin for being such a useless person. If she had given the small wooden carving to herself earlier and hoarded supplies earlier, would she still go hungry? Task 32 Help the homeless on the roadside, reward. Help the host eliminate impurities from the body, making the skin white, tender, 
and smooth. Upon hearing the task, Su Qingro's eyes lit up instantly. Recently, due to the long journey, her already bad skin has become even rougher. On the other hand, Wen Jin, who was on the same road as her, had delicate skin except for a little dirtiness. Glancing fiercely at Wen Jin, who was waiting to share her bread, she began searching along the way for the homeless person mentioned by the system. Found it. Su Qin Gru strode forward with a warm and friendly smile, handing the bread to the homeless man. Uncle, here's this bread for you. Anyway, there is still food in her space. As for Wen Jin, what does it have to do with herself? After the man stuffed the bread into her mouth, Su Qin Gru looked pitifully at Wen Jin and said, I'm sorry, Xiao Jin. I just saw him as too pitiful. Staring at the bread that had already been eaten, Wen Jin couldn't say anything and could only say unhappily, Qin Gru, isn't he pitiful? Aren't we pitiful? Before he could finish speaking, the man interrupted, Why are you so ruthless, little girl? After speaking, she turned her head to look at Su Qin Gru and said, Little girl, thank you for your kindness. As for me, I was actually sent by the leader of our base to investigate the situation and deliberately disguise myself. I really can't believe it. It's already at this point, and there's someone as kind-hearted as you. I'll take you to the base, so you don't have to pay any other fees. Upon hearing the man's words, Wen Jin widened her eyes and felt a bit unrealistic. She gently tugged at Su Qingro's hem and said, Qin Gru, let's not do it anymore. Who wants to be hit hard by Su Qingro's hand, Xiao Jin, can you not look at everyone with your eyes? There are still many good people. After speaking, she nodded at the man with a smile, thank you. Wen Jin couldn't resist Su Qingru and could only follow behind the two of them. The man behind him did indeed bring Wen Jin and Su Qingru into the base, but he led them into the red light area of the base. If Wen Jin hadn't noticed something was wrong and stabbed the man at the entrance, he would have died long ago. Now I have unexpectedly met this man again. Wen Jin sneered and used her phone to capture the footage, watching the man's breathing gradually weaken until it disappeared. After the man's death, Wen Jin began to descend the stairs, but she didn't expect that as soon as she reached the third floor, her mental strength suddenly detected someone rushing towards the building. I had no choice but to temporarily hide in the space. Brother-in-law The man who hit someone changed his previous arrogant demeanor and obsequiously shouted at the man who had just entered. Is this Brother Chen? The other man looked at the man who had just entered with a shocked expression on his face and shouted foolishly. Chen just nodded at the two of them and then said to the man who called him his brother. In. Law, have everything been handled? Done, done. That man is too disrespectful. We have already dealt with it. After obtaining the result, Chen Gu wanted to say something more. After giving a faint glance at the other man, his subordinates immediately understood and made a gesture of invitation to the other man. After the man left, only Chen and his three companions remained in the entire building. Brother-in-law, are you telling the truth about that batch of weapons, of course, as long as you want, I can take you to see it now. Of course, did you promise me something? Arms. How could Wen Jin not be envious of this? Waiting for a few people to reach the edge of the spiritual exploration range, Wen Jin walked out of the building and followed them all the way to the edge of the community. This used to be a private garage, and when Chen Gu opened the garage doors one by one, Wen Jin and the man's reaction was the same. A full arsenal of over twenty garages. This is not a small amount. After figuring out the address, Wen Jin returned to the resettlement area, but her heart was still thinking about those weapons. The next morning, Wen Jin stood up with two big black circles under her eyes and waited for the team to arrive at the small square. The search for supplies consisted of ten teams, each consisting of thirty people. However, strangely enough, the search locations were all in remote areas, most of which were sparsely populated before the earthquake. And this time, when Jin's team had even worse luck and was assigned to the farthest area to search for supplies. 
With the appearance of the sun, the temperature is getting higher and higher, and the anti-UV masks that were originally meant to protect oneself have now become a burden. The thick and stewed material made when Jean unable to breathe at all, and she could only secretly stuff ice hockey balls and ice water into her mouth. During this time, she even felt like she had lost oxygen. The dazzling sunshine started at 7 o'clock in the morning, scorching everyone, with many people in the team wearing bare arms or only one and a half sleeves. When is it now, little girl? She's wearing such thick clothes because she's afraid of getting sunburned. Don't let us carry you away when she gets heatstroke. A woman in her thirties and forties in the team looked sourly at Wen Jean. During the earthquake, their family was the first to run down, but who would have thought that after running down, they never let her up again. Her skin, which she had been carefully protecting, was completely ruined in the past few days. Why is this little girl the slowest to earthquake, but the most well dot equipped? When Jean ignored such provocation and didn't even give her a glance. The group walked for almost two hours before reaching the place. Even though they had already prepared mentally, they were still shocked by the scene in front of them. Apart from the large steel plates on the ruins, there are also many broken bricks at least the size of an adult's palm, and so on. Many plastic products have partially melted due to a week of sun baking, and the semi-melted liquid-like substances are still emitting a foul odor. Team Leader, Do We Have Gloves? The leader's expression stiffened inexplicably upon hearing these words, and he sneered, due to the sudden incident, I haven't been prepared yet. This doesn't have much impact on Wen Jean. There are so many things in her space, just take out the worst set of things to touch the fish, and she's not really short of food. Before taking out the gloves, Wen Jean knew she would be noticed, but she didn't expect it to be so I dot catching. Sister, can we borrow a glove from you? Facing her was a tightly packed girl with the same package, but the things wrapped around her were quite miscellaneous. There are two out of one. When Jean was not prepared to cause trouble for her future self and simply refused, I'm sorry, maybe not very good. Why bother? You have two gloves, what if you lend us one? Besides, we are all college students and the future of our country. As an elderly woman, you haven't done anything before. Do you still care about this kind of harm? Upon hearing these words, Wen Jin was almost laughing in anger. What kind of person can expect others to be so confident and straightforward? I'm sorry, we're also a thriving female college student. As he spoke, his eyes under the goggles rolled fiercely at the two people across from him. The leader, who saw everything in his eyes, slowly approached after hearing the end of the conversation. A few, it's not right for us to do this. Since the gloves belong to someone else, regardless of their age, the ownership belongs to them. Whoever wants to use them will use them. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 No 7 Search for Supplies You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Number 7 Search for Supplies Due to the disturbance of the team leader, several female college students reluctantly retreated to their positions. To be honest, even wearing gloves is not very comfortable. The weather is already hot and coupled with the thick thickness of work gloves, in less than 10 minutes, warm gloves are almost soaked in sweat. And it's really difficult to find supplies in such ruins, with usually non-fragile steel plates and bricks weighing heavily on top. Even if the steel plate is moved away, there is still a large amount of broken glass residue underneath. If these things cut the gloves, it may cause infection. In this case, an ordinary bacterial infection may take away a life. Hurry up. Someone is suffering from heatstroke. Suddenly, there was a commotion behind her. When Jean turned around and saw the tightly wrapped girl who had been arguing with her earlier lying in the middle of the crowd. The girl who was with the fainting girl asked the leader for medication. Seeing the leader hesitating, she immediately screamed. Is that how you lead the team? You're calling it irresponsible. You wait, I'll report you when I go back. She said, raising her phone and slapping the team leader's face. In this situation, 
it is generally not ordinary people who still have mobile phones available, and coupled with the overly enthusiastic gaze of the surrounding people, the team leader ultimately took out a bottle of Huxiang Zhengqi from his backpack. The morning of searching for supplies passed quickly, and it has to be said that there were still sufficient supplies in the early post-apocalyptic period. Even when Jean, who had been fishing in troubled waters, ultimately harvested three bags of supplies. Suddenly, Wen Jean, who was about to take a break, felt a heat under her feet. She looked down and realized that the sole of her shoes had melted. Taking advantage of everyone displaying their supplies, Wen Jean hurriedly went to the distance and pretended to be flipping through something. In fact, she took out a new pair of shoes from the space and rubbed them hard on the ground before putting them on her feet. This was unexpected for Wen Jean. In the past life, it was at least a month after an earthquake that the temperature began to rise continuously, and the temperature that could melt shoes was at least a month and a half or even two after the end of the world. Based on the current situation, it is possible that various disasters will be brought forward. Oh my goodness! My shoes, my shoes have melted. Before when Jean could go back, she heard other members of the team shouting. As they were all focused on searching for supplies just now and didn't pay attention, in this spare time, the team members all discovered something unusual about their shoes. Looking at Wen Jin, who arrived late wearing thick-soled shoes, everyone instantly became envious and wished they could go to the ruins again to find a pair of shoes. Unfortunately, the leader looked at everyone's shoes and then at his own shoes, as if there was no intention of asking everyone to search again. Many people dared not speak in anger until the team passed by a survivor gathering place, and several team members ran barefoot into the entrance of the house. Wen Jin did not hesitate. Instead of staying at this fake official survivor base, it would be better to go and truly investigate the situation first. Seeing everyone leave, the leader gritted his teeth in place, stomped the ground hard, and made a phone call to the campsite using a rechargeable phone. No way. You must follow them and not allow them to speak recklessly. For these unwelcome guests, the staff can only temporarily arrange them under the red umbrella, get their shoes, and let everyone wait until the sun sets before leaving. Although the leader arrived in time, the person who came first just now still talked a lot to the staff. After listening to everyone's words and looking at the hurried leader, the staff pondered for a moment before turning their attention to the leader. Probably because she had walked too much in the sun just now, and with her equipment being thick and heavy, when Jin's stomach was bloated and dizzy. I guess it's heatstroke. I took out a small bottle of Huxiang Jingqi from my backpack, but I didn't want to attract the female college student just after drinking it. Hey! You woman, why did you stumble upon such a precious thing and swallow it all by yourself? Besides, Xiaoyuan suffered from heatstroke just now, why didn't you take it out? You have to wait for the leader to hurriedly find it, how selfish. The shouting attracted the whole person under the red umbrella. When Jin's face turned cold and she didn't speak. Okay, can I spend money to buy it? I'll spend 30 yuan on a bottle, she said, and then looked up and down at Wen Jin with a smug look. Wen Jin couldn't tell the brand of the clothes, and her contempt grew even stronger. Sorry, it's not for sale. Could you please move aside, Mississippi? You're blocking my way in the sun. The girl who had been brushed off her face didn't look very good. She reached out to grab the box in Wen Jin's hand that contained the righteousness of Huxiang, and while grabbing it, she said, I took your things for your face. Don't be disrespectful. Feeling the girl's strength, Wen Jin grabbed the box in her hand and pulled it backwards, then sat down and gave the girl a kick. Ouch! As the argument was about to start, the leader approached and grabbed the girl who wanted to continue moving forward, What are you doing? What are you doing? This is not in our own camp, please be honest with me. Until the onlookers dispersed, the leader slowly approached. According to the current situation, it is feared that this weather will continue for a long time, coupled with the damage caused by the global earthquake, drugs like Huxiang Jingqi will become increasingly scarce in the short term, 
Hello miss, may I ask if this box of Huxiang Jingqi can be sold to me? Of course, I definitely didn't buy it for myself. The main reason is that I always lead a team out to search for supplies. In case something like this happens again today, I'm afraid I can't even take out the medicine, has the country not issued any drugs that it wants to close? Facing the hopeful gaze of the team leader, when Jean asked lightly. You little girl, you are so naive. In this situation, how could the country send us these life.saving supplies? I'm sorry, I'm not obligated to distribute these life.saving supplies to you either. It is not believed that the government has not issued Wen Jin, but whether this fake official document is issued or not cannot be controlled by Wen Jin. For this straightforward refusal, the leader's smile stiffened, you little girl, why are you so selfish? The lives in your team are fate, isn't mine. The conversation ended with the leader's darkened face, and with the examples of the girl and the leader, those who were eager to ask questions also took a break in their minds. Staying under the little red umbrella for an afternoon, the group did not return until 10 p.m. After returning to the tent area, there was no imagined silence, and doubts and shouts filled the entire tent area. Why do you force us to work? That's it. Do your superiors know what you're like? We're all intellectuals, why did you let us build walls and bricks? I'm going to sue you now. This time, when Jean did not return to the tent area, but went directly to the small square to read the announcement. Sure enough, there has been a new announcement. The new announcement has cancelled the task of searching for supplies outside, and now there is only one task on the announcement. Each tent can have up to five people building summer shelters every day, and each person can only receive two breads per day. No wonder. But even if the current residents are no longer satisfied, they will still have to compromise in the end. Looking at the densely packed security guards at the entrance of the community, when Jean silently shook her head, afraid that it would be difficult to think of leaving the community in the future. When we returned to the tent, it was still not quiet inside, and everyone was competing for the spot of the fifth place every day. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 No Eight Minor Riots you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Number 8 Minor Riots In fact, theoretically speaking, there are relatively few people in Wen Jin's tent. If there are five people, they only need to do the task every other day, which is fair and can ensure that at least no one is hungry. But there are always people who like to make things special. I don't think this is very reasonable. Look, your family of three, why should you occupy two spots? I think it's better to allocate according to your family. The girl and the little couple in the same tent didn't name her, but when she said this, her gaze always fell on the family of three. This statement naturally cannot be approved by others. Hey! You little girl! How could you think that? Then you can only have one spot. Look, do you and your boyfriend also want to give up one spot? What are you talking nonsense about? old lady. He and I are not boyfriend and girlfriend. We don't even have a certificate, what kind of boyfriend and girlfriend can we be? TSK TSK TSK, the other day I saw your affectionate demeanor, but it's completely different from what you're saying now. The whole tent was noisy, but it had nothing to do with Wen Jean. She was alone and not within the scope of their discussion. However, when Jean secretly sighed in her heart about the so dot called Chin brother. His methods were too clever, and the real PUA master directly transformed the conflict from residents and camps to between residents. In the end, the young couple still couldn't succeed. As when Jean didn't participate in their discussion, she was directly assigned to work the next day. But in this way, when Jean happened to be at ease. This leisurely time didn't seem to last too long. It was only in the early morning of the next day that when Jean was awakened by the heat. She took out a thermometer from the space to measure, and by this time, the temperature had risen to 55 degrees. It was only 5 o'clock in the morning, but the sun had already hung high in the sky. For a moment, when Jean even felt the scorching sunlight shining through the thick tent cloth onto her body. 
About half an hour later, a staff member wearing UV-resistant clothing pushed a small car in, but inside was not food, but a large number of shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the work shoes specially provided in the camp to reduce everyone's losses. We hope everyone will cherish this opportunity and take it seriously and work hard. Go to hell with you. When Jean cursed inwardly, feeling a vague concern about her own house. Chen Gu is so persistent in building a summer shelter that when Jean doesn't believe he is really considering the residents of the community. Perhaps the purpose of summer shelters is to accommodate residents who are unable to return home due to earthquakes, but over time, may the residential buildings simply not be returned to the residents. I hope to only seize the belly of a gentleman with the heart of a petty person. Thinking about the safety zone she had invested heavily in building, when Jean felt her heart dripping with blood. If given the opportunity, she would definitely take it back, not for any other reason, even if it was for her own safety. Can you really expect such a summer shelter that was not built by professionals to be waterproof and windproof? Definitely not. Watching the people in the tent who needed to work today leave one after another, due to the continuous rise in temperature, when Jean couldn't sleep at all and could only sit in a corner, weekly daydreaming. This kind of rebirth result was something that when Jean never expected in her lifetime. Suddenly, when Jean felt a faint burnt smell floating in the air. Looking outside, I realized that a tent not far away had been scorched by the sun. As the flames on the top of the tent grew bigger and bigger, the people at the campsite didn't seem to notice, letting the flames burn louder and louder. I want to go home. Why, why are you restricting our personal freedom? We bought that house ourselves, and we have the right to use it. Hurry up and remove the guards in front of the residential building for us. That's it. On such a hot day, dozens of us crowded together. What's this called? As more and more tents began to catch fire, the dissatisfaction that residents had been harboring in their hearts began to gradually erupt. The uprising in the tent area even affected the construction of summer shelters outside the community. Many people who returned from outside and saw that their tents and luggage were all burned down also joined the riot team. The riot lasted almost half an hour, and the SODOT called camp leader Chen Gu finally appeared. The last time, due to being secretive, when Jean didn't even dare to carefully see the appearance of this leader. But I didn't want this leader to be shot in the thigh, the person who was rushing at the front and shouting the most fiercely was shot. For a moment, the tent area fell silent. One by one, they looked at the pistols in Chen's hand, secretly worried. What if something went wrong, or if the rioters like them were shot dead? At this moment, Resentment rose from the bottom of my heart towards the person who led the riot. Watching the awe of his pistol so great, Chen smiled with satisfaction, to be honest, everyone, you have also seen the current situation. With such a severe disaster, can you ensure that you can survive if you live alone in the future? Instead of pitifully starving and freezing while guarding your own house, it's better to follow us. At least, you can obtain food through work rather than searching for supplies in the ruins of the outside world like a pitiful insect. After finishing speaking, Chen looked around at the expressions of the people around him and continued slowly, of course, it's not impossible for you to get your house back. As long as you can work hard to build our base, the food you obtain through you can still be bought from your original house. Finally, I hope everyone can understand that building a survivor's base is very difficult. We need to ensure everyone's daily diet and ensure that everyone can survive such disasters. Leaving aside the issue of whether we can truly protect everyone's lives in disasters, it is already very difficult to supply food to residents alone. But can you buy back your own house? To be honest with everyone, the reason we received so much news is because we found a prophet. She approached me before the earthquake and predicted the future disaster, so I believe that as long as we follow, we can definitely create a better life. Of course, if you don't believe it, then I can responsibly tell you that the next disaster will be strong ultraviolet rays and strong sunlight, and the temperature will continue to rise, which is why we are working so hard to build summer shelters the riot ultimately ended in such a peaceful manner, 
but this Chen brother's disposal of the residential building only mentioned that he could purchase it, but he did not mention other purchasing methods, purchase prices, and the current role of the residential building. When Jean was about to return to her tent and further consider how to retrieve her house, when suddenly a gentle voice called out, Miss One, please stay. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 No 9 Exposure You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Number 9 Exposure Looking at the gentle smile on Lai's face, when Jean felt that the newcomer was not kind, Miss One, do you mind taking up some of your time? Please come with us. Although they were indeed asking for Wen Jin's opinion on their lips, the guards wearing protective suits after getting on seemed to be waiting for Wen Jin to refuse and then forcing her to leave. Reluctantly following Chen Longyue into the core position of this tent area, as soon as he entered the tent, he saw Su Qingru sitting in the center of the tent, looking at him triumphantly. Xiao Jin, long time no see. She knew she was reborn. This was when Jin's first thought when she saw Su Qin Gru, especially when she saw the smile on her face. When Jin felt a little frustrated for a moment. Su Qin Gru is the protagonist of this book, how could she really be so foolish? As expected, Chen Long's first sentence as he jumped into the tent was to ask, Miss Wen, to be honest, we have obtained your abnormal behavior of hoarding materials from some channels before. So, may I ask if you, like this lady, have the ability to predict. Observing Wen Jin's expression, Chen Longyue said again, Miss Wen, please think for all humanity like Miss Su, instead of selfishly living a good life with such important news. Wen Jin didn't rush to answer such a question, but rather pondered in her heart what kind of mistake she had made when hoarding supplies before the earthquake, and which account they had uncovered. Probably the last grain from a warehouse before the end of the world. That time, because it was the second to last day of the end of the world, when Jean relaxed her vigilance as the end of the world was about to come. Only that account was not covered up with a virtual account, but fortunately that account was not too large. Another biggest flaw is probably the decoration of one's own house. Indeed, I anticipated it ten days before the earthquake arrived. Oh. Miss Wen, you're not very honest. The renovation time for your house is much longer than ten days. With a determined glance at Chen Longyue, when Jean continued, I wanted to renovate my house a long time ago. You should be able to check that my house had leaked water before I started renovating, and since then, I have been preparing to renovate it. When I started to anticipate it on the tenth day, I didn't actually believe it. I thought it was a nightmare, so I didn't hoard any supplies. But indeed, when I started to anticipate it on the tenth day, I intentionally put some effort into the renovation. Chen Longyue seemed to still not believe it, staring closely into Wen Jin's eyes, hoping to get a hint of her lying panic or abnormality from her gaze. Unfortunately, it was not found. Simply skip the inquiry and get straight to the point which is his most concerned issue and also Su Qingro's most concerned issue, so, may I ask Miss Wen, do you have a space to store supplies? Wen Jin gave a faint glance at Su Qingru, who was standing beside her with fiery eyes, and calmly replied. Of course not, to be frank, do you also believe this kind of nonsense? Indeed, Chen Longyue didn't believe this kind of nonsense at first, but Su Qingro's vivid description made him eagerly anticipate it. If you don't believe it, you can search my luggage and my house to see if there is any so dot called space. Speaking, he also showed a smile that was almost mocking to Chen Longyue. Being mocked by a younger generation, Chen Longyue felt uncomfortable in his heart. Faced with Wen Jin's frankness, he even began to doubt and doubt Su Qingro's words. In order to maintain his face, Chen Longyue nodded and waved to summon several guards at the entrance, you guys, go to Miss Wen's house and search again. Obviously, these people are already familiar with Wen Jin's home, and they don't even need to ask for the door number. But Miss Wen, do you know how to put that thing on your body? Then let's do a body search. Refreshing. Chen Longyue chuckled twice and pointed to Su Qing Judo, so, let Miss Su come. With a proud smile on Su Qingro's face, Wen Jin nodded, 
shouldn't it be fair to let me also search Miss Sue's body? After all, this is a person who can describe the abstract concept of space. Does Mr. Chen really not doubt her? The exploratory gaze scanned back and forth between the two, ultimately responding to Wen Jin's request. With this promise, Wen Jin clearly observed the flustered expression on Su Qingro's face. Perhaps, the so dot called system on Su Qingro's body had a substance. Even Wen Jin could tell, let alone Chen Longyue, this old fox. The balance in my heart gradually began to sway, but my face still didn't show any abnormality and said, then I won't disturb you both. After waiting for someone to leave, Su Qingru tore off her smiling mask and immediately approached Wen Jin, pulling her. Wen Jin. Tell me, have you also been reborn? Have you hidden my small wooden carving? What little wood carving? What rebirth? Are you crazy? Wen Jin silently took a step back, her face full of doubt and disbelief. Chen Longyue was able to exit so easily. How many surveillance and monitoring devices were placed in this tent? Wen Jin, just pretend. Wait, wait for me to find it and see how you explain it. Su Qingro's search was merciless, and several times she was not stopped by Wen Jin, afraid that even Wen Jin's clothes would be torn off. Unfortunately, Wen Jin overestimated her intelligence just now. At this moment, the search turned all its attention to Wen Jin's neck, gripping her clothes while muttering, this is impossible. About twenty minutes later, Wen Jin spoke up to stop Su Qingro's another round of search. Miss Su, may I ask if you're ready? It's been a full twenty minutes. But Su Qingru, who couldn't find her target, had a crazy expression on her face and said, no, it's impossible. You must have hidden it somewhere. Say, did you have it in your mouth? Speaking, she wanted to reach her hand into Wen Jin's mouth. A person dodged Su Qingro's search sideways and said, Miss Su, please stop halfway. However, at this moment, the green pattern on Wen Jin's wrist flickered lightly before hiding again. Neck. Suddenly, two words appeared in Wen Jin's mind, causing her to be confused. She instinctively shifted her gaze to Su Qingro's neck across from her, and a black pattern caught her eye. Is this the so dot called system? When Jean tried to gather her spiritual strength around Su Qingro's neck, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 Number 10 Escape You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 10 Number 10 Escape The small black mark on Su Qingro's neck lit up slightly. That's it. When Jean stared straight at the black patch, the green mark on her wrist causing her entire arm to be scorching hot and shining more frequently. Fortunately, she wore thick sunscreen clothes to barely cover up the bright color. Calm down. When Jean quietly covered the mark with her hand, trying to soothe it. What are you doing? Su Qingru let out a scream of surprise, noticing clearly Wen Jin's small movements. She pulled out the arm that Wen Jin was holding hoping to find even the slightest abnormality. But there was nothing on the arm, even the light green mark that had always existed disappeared. When Jean immediately used her spiritual power to explore the space, fortunately, it's still there. Taking a long sigh of relief, she pulled her arm out of Su Qingro's hand and said, My arm is itching. Can't I scratch it? Looking at Wen Jin across from her with a calm expression, Su Qingru still refused to believe and stubbornly wanted to continue the search. As for Wen Jin, her mind was no longer focused on this. What is the relationship between her small wooden carving and the system on Su Qingru's body? One is a family heirloom, and the other is a high-dot-tech system from an unknown source, which doesn't seem to have any connection at all. But now, Su Qingru's secret cannot be exposed yet. Otherwise, it will only be a struggle between sandpipers and clams for profit. In the end, not only will Su Qingru be caught, but I'm afraid that even the person he identified will not be able to escape, and Chen Longwei when Jin's eyes darkened, and she patted off Su Qingru's hand that was still on her body. She walked straight out of the tent and looked at Chen Longwei, 
who was standing not far away smiling at her. It was feared that Su Qingro's words about rebirth had already been heard by him, and even her actions just now, like Su Qingro's, might have aroused his considerable suspicion. Now Wen Jin has only two choices. Stay away from Chen Longyue, or kill him. It's just that I can't even compete with him now. Whether it's in terms of weapons, physical fitness, experience, or intelligence get out of here. Although I feel heartbroken for my furnished safe house, there is no other way. A safe house can exist again, but there is only one life. Thinking of the figure she saw in the National Security Zone during the day today, when Jean had already figured out where to go. Sorry, Mr. Chen. I have some things to attend to at the moment and I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you. However, you saw the body search earlier and there's nothing unusual. Also, please feel free to search for my house. After speaking, without waiting for Chen Longyue's answer, he walked towards his tent, for the next few days, when Jean stayed quietly in the tent area, whether it was working or receiving supplies, trying to be like the ordinary residents around her. Hey hey! Do you know that the previous task of searching for supplies has now been unblocked and recruitment has started again, and there are more people in each group? I'll go. Do you think it's because our base doesn't have enough food? I used a power bank to charge my phone a few days ago, and my friends seem to be in the official base. They seem to be in the safe zone now. Then the base sends people out every day to search for resources, but our base doesn't have them, right? Definitely not, haven't I been staring at that summer shelter these days? And I've been looking at the reward for that mission, one bread a day, and what I find is still about three to seven points higher than the base. Who did it? Isn't this pure resentment? When building a summer shelter, when Jean perked up her ears to listen to the workers chatting, afraid that one might miss an important message. Upon hearing these words, when Jean knew that the opportunity had come. Sorry Miss Wan, you are not qualified to enter and exit the base yet. In the noisy service hall, facing all the people who came to sign up for the task, the receptionists were all sycophantic, afraid that one tone of their voice would persuade those who came to sign up. Only when Jin Side received a cold face from the receptionist. Sure enough when Jean quietly left the newly opened office hall, pondering how she could get out of this base. Perhaps due to the panic of those who escaped from the earthquake, many people did not carry their ID cards with them. Therefore, in order to improve work efficiency, the so dot called registration in the base is only a sign. They don't care about their identity about two more days passed peacefully, and when Jean found a small supermarket in the community before the earthquake. After the earthquake, it collapsed, and the materials inside were searched by the people at the base two days before the earthquake. Probably because there is too much waste here, and the base has not set up tent areas or summer shelters in this area. Over time, this place has become abandoned. Walk to the corner and use your mental strength to detect everything around you. After confirming safety, enter the space and start applying makeup. These are the cross-dressing artifacts that Wen Gun bought on the black market before, whether it is a fake nose that fits the human body or a powerful foundation make dot up that can change the skin color. About two hours later, an old woman with a hunched waist slowly walked out of the corner. Name. Zhang Fong Fong. Age. 65, when they said this age, the staff slowly looked up and looked up and down at Wen Jin, continuing, the reason for joining. There's only me and my grandson at home. We didn't bring anything to eat during the earthquake. Now, my grandson is hungry every day and there's nothing we can do. At midnight, when Jean followed the team searching for supplies and successfully passed the access control, taking advantage of her old woman's appearance, she naturally walked at the end of the queue, occasionally pretending to be weak and coughing. It seems that they are afraid that the people in the team will escape, and there will be four guards guarding each team. It is probably because when Jean acted too well and was naturally overlooked by the guards. Walking calmly in the queue until she faintly saw the national security zone that day, when Jin's footsteps slowed down. Watching the large army in front gradually disappear into the night, 
when Jean stepped forward and ran towards the small red umbrella next to her. Nowadays, the city has been successfully occupied by the National Security Zone. In order to conduct a more comprehensive search for supplies, each security zone has been assigned targeted locations for collecting supplies. But because this base is not official and clues have been discovered last time, the country has cancelled the targeted location of the base. In addition, weapons are held by those in power, and the leaders are afraid of life and death, afraid of being caught by the international community accidentally. Therefore, they only dare to search for supplies on remote paths or ruins every time. That old man. Hurry up and grab her, we can't let her run away. In the end, the guard in front saw the clues. Hearing the guard shout, old man when Jean stopped pretending and took big steps towards the direction of the national security zone. Bang. End of this chapter.